and is expanding double brackets, but when there are going to be squared numbers. Uh, before, we've only just done the numbers only. This time, we will have a letter uh, on all of these. It's an X, actually. So, yeah. So, I use the FOIL method, as you guys know, but you can use the grid if you prefer. Either way works, and we'll get you the same answer. So, we're going to start off by times these out. So, now I've got 2 times 2, which is 4, and I've got X times X, which is X squared. 2X times minus 1 is going to be minus 2X. And then 3 times 2 is 6, and we've got an X on the end. And again, it's going to be minus 3. So let's collect our like terms. That's at the front. Minus 2x plus 2x is going to be plus 4x minus 3. And there's no more simplifying on that one. It's nice and simple. Okay. So just watch out when your time's in your x's. Uh, next one, x times x is x squared x times minus 3 is minus 3x, x times x was 8x, 8 times minus 3 is minus 24. And then we put it all together, collect our like terms, minus 3x plus 8x is going to be plus 5x minus 24. Next one. 4 times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is plus 8x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. And minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Same again, biggest at the front. Plus 8x minus x is plus 7x minus 2. Same again. X times X is X squared. X times 9 is plus 9X. Minus 7 times X is minus 7X. And minus 7 times 9 equals 63. So that's a negative minus 63. Let's our like terms. Mine, uh, sorry, plus X minus 7 is going to be plus 2X. Minus 63. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times minus 2 is minus 10x. 4 times x is plus 4x. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Simplify it all down. Minus 10x plus 4x is minus 6x, negative 8. And then finally, 2x times 3x is going to be 6x squared. 2x times 5 is going to be plus 10x. Minus 3 times 3x is going to be minus 9x. And minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Sort it all out, simplify it, collect all your like terms. 10x minus 9x just gives us a plus x, negative 15. So, yeah, I've gone through that quite quickly purely because it could just be revision for some people just to trigger your memory, make sure you're getting it right. And for people that have got to do it, don't really like it and don't want to be sitting there for 20 minutes trying to solve something. I've done it nice and quick. You can pause it, take it in, soak in information. You can do it however you want to do it. Remember, foil or grid. Bye-bye.